Welcome to Super RC, and today I'm doing a review on the Silver Bullet RC Helicopter from Brookstone. As you can see on the top, it has coaxial blades with a gyroscopic stabilization system directly on top of that. I did mod that slightly, so it's not really visible though. Um, overall, I thought this is a very good little copter, but um, that's the copter on the transmitter. The transmitter, we'll start with that as always. Uh, the, the sticks are kind of wobbly in a sense, and they're not very, it's kind of a really weird feel in your hands. It almost looks like, like a Batman symbol, like you got your curved thing, eh, whatever. The infrared uh, lasers on top, they're all bent in different ways, and a little disappointing, but on and off switches, it's your generic, nothing special, no rubber coated or anything. Yeah, your A, B, and C channels, so switch between which channels you're going to run the helicopter on. You've got your charge lights, so when you plug this in to charge it, you turn this on, and your charge light will come on. And when that, don't remember the sequence, but some light sequence tells you that it's done. You can see that it's kind of an exposed mother water here, and there's just a little uh, audio-like port. Then add the infrared receiver right in the bottom, and... As you notice, there's this big large drum right here, and that's the gear housing for the large spur gears that hook up to the motors, which are, they have a motor hatch, if I can get it off, hold on, I'm not getting too close to the camera there, for access to the motors, they have a, there's a hatch that you can take in and off, and that accesses the top of the motor, just in case one of your wires comes out, and to resolder it. Um, inside you see you have your LiPo battery pack, I'm not think the camera can pick it up, but if you catch those red and blue wires, just beyond that is the LiPo battery. You have two, uh, flashing blue lights on the top, um, and those flash multiple colors, like green, blue, orange, red, and those flash as you fly. Uh, you have this really weird stabilizer I guess on the, on the rear and that's just kind of for I bet I guess for weight distribution and uh, when the the air that's directed downwards hits this it directs it back which pushes the helicopter along and this helicopter does not fly like this it flies completely level and that's how it goes forward if you were to break this off the helicopter would not fly guaranteed um, this helicopter is not the most durable thing. This is my second one of them. The first one basically broke when I was taking it out of the packaging and got that one returned and got a brand new copter. And so this one. The old one had the cartridge style charge port. This is the updated version. So this is the one you're going to find in the stores right now unless you go and get one used. Um, it, the, the, it's weak point. This one's also broken again. I had this one for about a year before it broke. So it's, I guess it's good value. Um, the, the, it's not connected to the gears to the inner shaft down there and that's not the motor is just not turning so I guess it's a burnt motor and sorry for getting the helicopter out of the picture the it's a Lex it's like a Lexan ABS plastic it's an ABS plastic it's a very thin ABS plastic on the the body and there's this massive purple I don't know if it looks black on the camera but purple windscreen on the top and the weights are held in by two plastic knobby thingies and that's good because they don't fall out they fly off in mid-flight uh, this had one stabilizer on the gyro on each side on this just this side but I put one on this side because it kept wobbling around like sideways that way instead of this way and that's all to say about the mechanical part I guess and there's yeah, there's these little cooling vents right here on the side, so I keep putting it above the camera, I don't know what's wrong with me. And, alright, now that's all said, uh, thoughts about driving, this thing was so fun to drive, oh, and little skids on the side that have a ton of flex, and you can land this thing, uh, just 20 feet in the air, dead down, and it will absorb, and it bounce back up, and then just land inside. That helps your flight durability. Um... Thoughts, flying thoughts. Very good copter. I mean, just pushing up forward. 
it just goes forward at a very steady speed. Um, depending how much you get half throttle, it's just gonna hover and about this high above the ground. Uh, yeah, so about a foot. And it's gonna kind of fly around very realistically, actually. And when you you throttle up, you're gonna head towards whatever c ceiling if you're in a house. And it, it it's surprisingly fast. At at it's if you apply full throttle, it will hit a very high speed. And every time you you hit this left and right, it's just it's fun to turn it like a car. It just it swerves in and just. Ton of fun. It's almost like driving a car, car in the air. Just you have your elevation that you have to worry about. Uh, not to mention there also is these trim buttons on the transmitter. No stir throttle trim, which is kind of disappointing. And it's eight double A's or six to eight. I think it's six in in the back. And there used to be a uh, a little compartment that slid over the battery or the charging port that would make this thing just flat black. So you just have looks like there's no charge there, but that that got lost quickly after I got it. So, great RC helicopter if you're a good good with uh, two stick remotes. So probably your second helicopter, indoor helicopter. And I guess that's all folks. Thanks for watching Super RC. As always, subscribe, like, and comment.